All right, all right. Hey, everybody, welcome to the podcast. It is an interesting time to be a rideshare driver. There are a lot of things going on. Uh, today is uh, the 18th of February. So, uh, happy Valentine's Day uh, for all of you back on the 14th. I hope you had a good weekend. And uh, we just had President's Day holiday yesterday. And here we are back at it. I'm going to be recording a series of podcast episodes today. One will address the coronavirus. Another one will address uh, uh, a fare for Uber's car rental program getting terminated, the weekly program getting terminated. Uh, I'm also going to share some information on AB5. I, I was a speaker at a uh, at kind of a uh, it was a thing where I sat in the front with uh, two other guys and we talked to about, I don't know, 100 people at a restaurant called Manny's in San Francisco. And I'll show you some things I learned about, uh, you know, work and, and, and AB5 and, and uh, things that are happening in California. But today, today I'm going to go into some other uh, stories that caught my eye. Um, first one it says Uber passengers live stream nightmare ride. Uh, so this is a uh, CNN, but there's a video of uh, this driver who just lost it. All right. So if you're a driver, you know what road rage is and you probably have experienced it and you probably have uh, observed it in other people. So it's this thing that happens where it's like a switch gets turned on and you go from being you're like your normal person to some psycho person. So in this case, the driver uh, got cut off. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but he, he refused to stop following this car. And he had two passengers in his car and he was driving really fast. And then he even got hit by another car because uh, he went through a red light and he kept going. He kept going. And then, uh, then it interviewed uh, the people who were in the back of the seat who were saying, you know, hey, buddy, stop the car. Let us out, you know. And he was like, I got to get him. I, just like I said, psycho road rage uh, driver. So he lost his privilege to drive uh, for Uber and Lyft as a result. But uh, it's good to check out because it's it's valuable to see somebody else losing his shit so extremely uh, while passengers are in the car. Crazy. But I've had other passengers tell me they've had similar situations where Somebody got cut off and they were angry or they were both, uh, you know, accelerating fast to get a, to, to, to make a turn and something happened. And then that driver just went, went a little crazy and, and, and started to follow, follow that other, other driver. And somebody was in the car, you know, a passenger. So got to control your emotions out there. That is some dangerous stuff when you're driving around these big chunks of metal and you got somebody in your back seat. So. Uh, if you want to find that, CNN, uh, it's uh, Uber Passengers Live Stream Nightmare Ride. All right. Next one is titled, let's see, Uber Falters in First Legal Attack on California Gig Workers Law. So, you know, we have uh, this new law called AB5 in California. Uber does not like it. Um, Uber and Postmates uh, basically sued the state of California saying that the law was unconstitutional, describing it as an irrational Frankenstein-like statute. The judge basically said, uh, nope, I'm not, I'm not buying what you're selling here. Uh, U.S. District Judge Dolly McGee said during a hearing in Los Angeles that it was a steep hill to climb for Uber and Postmates to argue that the statute irrationally targets the app-based companies on the grounds that many workers in other industries were exempt from it. So uh, that got thrown out. So they're going to have to try and figure out another way to uh, screw the drivers out of that law. All right. Next story from CNN. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Um, a CEO was forced out after video showed him calling an Uber driver the N word. So this is an interesting situation. So I watched I watched the video um, and so the passenger wanted to get into the front seat. So I am, a, I am a passenger and I almost always want to sit in the front seat because I like to talk to the driver. 
and um, I've never I've never had a, a, a driver say no you can't sit in the front seat I'd rather you sit in the back seat um, I don't know how I would respond if somebody asked me to sit in the back seat um, I guess because I'm a driver I just I, I I don't know what I would I don't know what what I would say but what happened in this case was the driver who was an African American said no uh, would you please sit in the back seat and and the, the guy who apparently is a CEO of some company um, said seriously no I'm gonna sit in the front and and the the driver said no you know uh, I, it's it's not okay for me for you to sit in the front I need you to sit in the back right so um, he sat in the back and uh, they still had you know he wasn't happy about it and uh, then the driver said I'm not gonna drive you I want you to get out of my car all right this is my car I'm an independent contractor and you get out of my car and that's when the n-word uh, flew and the driver was very happy about that because he got caught him on 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 tape on uh, his dash cam so so one I don't like drivers that don't let you sit in the front seat um, if you can't have someone sitting in the front seat I'd say you shouldn't be a driver you know that's what if there were four people you know three are gonna sit in the back and one's gonna sit in the front you can't are you gonna turn down everybody who's got four people to get in the car are you gonna tell all four people to sit in the back seat um, but as he said, you know, it's his right uh, to, to do that. Um, and then, of course, you know, you just can't go off on somebody like uh, the CEO did, and he deserved uh, everything that he got for being being an asshole. So, you know, it's a uh, it's interesting. Check it out. It's uh, this is in CNN. It's a CEO was forced out after video showed him calling an Uber driver the N word, and. Um, Let's see what. Uh, let's see what happened to this guy. Okay, Berglund, Berglund, he's that's the CEO guy, uh, attorney. Told CNN of the scene captured on video. This is extremely out of character for him. Berglund is extremely apologetic and embarrassed, and wants to do everything he can to make this as right as he can. To Clark, the episode just came out of nowhere. He told CNN it was quite shocking. I didn't expect that. Uber officials told CNN that the passenger in the incident no longer has access to the Uber app. All right, so that's what happened. So he can no longer take uh, take Uber. Uh, let's see here. It says Berglund told the TV station, "I'm taken away as CEO from the company. I don't have anything to do with the company anymore. I'm fired." He told the station, "I founded the company, but I'm gone. I'm history. Um, it's so blown out of proportion, and it's ruined my life. It's ruined my company. It's ruining everything about my situation right now," said Berglund. Um, so he lost his job, so he's no longer CEO, um, all because of this. So this is cancel culture at its finest. You know, the guy made a mistake, and instead of just having an opportunity to say he was sorry, he got a little hot-headed. His whole life's fucked because, um, because of what he did and because the driver wouldn't allow him to sit in the front seat. So it's just like a series of unfortunate incidences. And uh, as a result, this guy's life is destroyed. And, uh, you know, the driver is now some kind of a celebrity. And that's that. <clears throat> so interesting, isn't it? Isn't it interesting how things can get really blown out of proportion? Do you think it's fair that this guy lost everything uh, because of the situation? I don't know. That's for each of us to think about. Um, have you never has have you never gotten angry and, and said things you regretted? I certainly have. I certainly have. So um, I can't really, uh, you know, say I'm holier than thou and this guy deserved everything he got. Right. OK. Next story is about um, another CNN business. Uber CEO says era of growth at all costs is over after losing 8.5 billion last year. So this is interesting. This is uh, Dara Kay. We recognize that the era of growth at all costs is over, Dara Khosrowshahi said, uh, Uber CEO said in a statement with the earnings report, in a world where investors increasingly demand not just growth, but profitable growth, 
We are well positioned to win through continuous innovation, excellent execution, and the unrivaled scale of our global platform. And I, I think I think he's gonna I think they're gonna they're gonna be just fine. All right, next one. I reported a passenger for farting in our shared lift, and now we've been officially unpaired from Lyft forever, supposedly. So what happened was uh, some guy was in the car. It was a shared ride. So there was two or three different different parties in the in the car. And as the guy got out of the car, he, quote, let rip the hugest, grossest fart right, right as he got out of the car. So it was like, boom. So the people contacted Lyft and complained, and Lyft got back to them and said, um, thank you for sending this over. We totally get how uncomfortable this would be. We've gone in and unpaired you from this passenger so that if you ever have another shared ride with us, you won't see them along your route. If we can help with anything else, just let us know. So pretty cool. Lyft took care of it. And uh, the guy with gas uh, will not um, be paired with those people ever again. And finally, from Autoblog, seven tips for veteran Uber and Lyft drivers to stay motivated and make more money. Well, this is an article I could write in my sleep. But here are the seven things this article says. Get enough sleep. Okay, yes. Have a schedule. Great. Set specific goals. Yep. Have rideshare insurance. I don't know how that keeps you motivated, but that was uh, listed in there. Have rideshare insurance. Take an Uber trip once a month. All right, so it's always good to go out and drive as a passenger and see how other drivers are handling things. Take breaks and get exercise. All right, that's great. And respect your passengers. So these are all pretty common sense things, but this is an article on the internet called Seven Tips for Veteran Uber Drivers to Stay Motivated and Make More Money. So that's the news. That's your now up to date with uh, what's coming across my Google News um, app. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting times we're living in. And as I said, uh, we're also gonna talk about the coronavirus and uh, what happened to the Fair for Uber car rental program and uh, what's up with AB5 in California and, uh, and work, work in California. So I'm gonna share some things I learned uh, speaking on a panel last week in San Francisco. All right, all right. So thank you so much for being here. That's a wrap. Fist bump to all you drivers out there. You all rock it out there every day. I honor you. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. Be safe out there. This is Nomad Jay saying this episode is in the can.